Hi guys, in this video I want to show you how to create a mailing list in Remind and how to order postcards like this. This is one that I just sent out uh, after I sold the home in my uh, neighborhood. Okay, so let me share my screen. There we go. So uh, you know how to get into um, Netris, then you click on Remind. And when you in Remind, we will uh, create cards, okay? So uh, let's do a search. And let me just take everything out so I can show it to you from the beginning. So I am going to do uh, a zip code search, 75069. It's gonna be the, the zip code. And here we can go through the criteria that, that we want. So if you want a specific uh, property value, you can click, but you can also narrow it down. Let's say 250 to let's say 350, if this is your um, criteria, if you are looking for smaller homes, then uh, it will add home equity. And home equity is a good one because uh, you definitely want someone who already has some equity in the house and they're not upside down. So I apply between 250 and about 500, it's going to be 350. Then ownership time. Here you can also choose or minimum four and no max. Sell score. Sell score is uh, a score that Remind um, gives to every pop property and it's between high, medium, and low. And I think the way they come up with it is they're looking into all um, public records and also ownership time and the, the balance on the, on the mortgage. And uh, based on that information, they can predict if anybody is uh, about to sell. They would know things like they had a new baby or they are filing for divorce, that kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna go with high, but you can also add high and medium. And this is not a bulletproof um, system. This is something they estimate. But um, no, let, let's just to have a smaller list, I'm just gonna go with high, apply. And as you can see on the, on the screen, it will show you how many of those are available. And then also um, on the side, these five properties, they are all either just canceled or here is a pending sale. And uh, yeah, out of the five, four have been uh, canceled and one is pending. So this is the canceled ones, maybe a good one. What I recommend to you, uh, go to um, Netris and see if it's not for these, if it's not missed out. Otherwise it could be a good one. So let's just add sales score medium as well. Okay, so now we have a much smaller one. Now this is not a mailing list. I'm just going to go uh, with this, but you can make your list as small or as big as you want. Because sometimes you are in a subdivision and you have a, a listing and you only want to target the people in the subdivision and you can do that. Let's go absently. Here, you want people that are actually living in the house because they are the ones that are probably willing to sell. If they are out of state or in state or corporate, it's probably a, a rental property, okay? Then uh, building type, we want single family. And what else? You can also see mortgage age, age mortgage rate. These are good uh, if you co-market with your lender. I'm not gonna go with that right now. And um, 
And you can also add cash buyers. I'm not doing it because we only have just a few uh, over here. Maybe I'm adding another. Actually, here I have the zip code 75069. I'm going to select all of them. And it just go through it shortly. This one has closed. And I'm going to open it up to see when. So they only for five. Point nine. It's almost six years, okay? So this is a good one. The next one, four and a half years, yes. So here, because we, we chose the ownership time, they should all be uh, on the market. This one is an expired. Let's see how long. Okay, this, this might be a, a really good deal here, okay? So I'm gonna click select all. I select it all and I'm gonna add them to, a, to my cart. And here I'm creating a new cart because this is McKinney. And I'm also making it um, with the zip code and I'm probably gonna add another zip code to it, 75070, is a smaller um, zip code in McKinney, okay? You cannot see, but this you can basically. There we go. Seven five zero six nine seven five zero seven one. I'm creating this, and I'm adding it to the cart. Okay, now I'm I'm leaving all the criteria already chosen. And I'm just going to replace the zip code. I click enter. Okay. And in the zip code, I have a little bit more. Here, again, you can select all, but move the one that you don't want. Okay, we don't want this one, right? Let me just unselect it. I don't want the one on the on the market. Actually, with this, you can also put off market. So it will remove all the properties that are on the top on the market right now. Okay. I'm selecting all. I click cart. I'm going to look for my McKinney zip code one and I'm adding it. Okay, so now I created a, a cart. Here is my cart. And this is the last one that I created. And uh, now I am going to download this uh, mailing list. Okay. I want to remove this one because I don't want a pending one. We have to type delete into the box to confirm the deletion. Okay. So now I'm going to select all and I can export um, this list. And I'm just going to call the same thing. And what are the columns that you want? The property address, they are all owner occupied. The one we want the owner information. And this is pretty much all that we need for mailings, okay? And then you click export and they will notify you in a few minutes when it's ready. Okay, uh, in the next video, I'm gonna show you how 
how to create mailers. And uh, Remind is very affordable and they have pretty good templates. So this was the, uh, uh, the mailing list video. And in the next video, I'm going to show you I got my cat. I'm going to show you how to send mailers. All right. Thanks for watching.